One of the biggest killers in the world is the smallest of creatures, but with a low-cost mosquito net, its reign of terror could be halted. Tonight, I will be protected, but for millions across Mozambique and Southern Africa, there is no safety net. And for them, the heartache that malaria spreads is tragic. This is where malaria begins, the ponds where mosquitoes breed and grow. Families try smoking them out with wood fires, but they are impossible to escape. Here, malaria is a year-round phenomenon. It fills hospitals and clinics with mothers, fathers, and children. It is the biggest killer of children in Mozambique and the country's greatest public health problem. In a hospital like this, one of three people will die because of malaria. Villagers tell me that when they hear the mosquitoes coming, they run for cover if they have a net. Malaria robbed the smile from Marita's face. Last year, her best friend Marta died of the disease. Marita, who is only 10, misses her friend. She misses her when she fetches water. She misses her when she cooks. She misses her when she helps her mother. Even spending time with her best friend's parents, she feels so alone. Marita wants her best friend back, and she craves freedom from the mosquitoes that frighten her. One woman told me that she could actually see smoke rising from her daughter's skin. She wrapped her in a wet cloth, she put her on the back of a bicycle, and they rode 12 miles to the health center. Fortunately, that child got medication and survived. But baby Zeta did not survive. The 16-month-old girl who lived next to Marita is malaria's latest victim. On the day of her funeral, life in the village comes to a standstill. <laughs> Zeta's mother, Rosa, joins the list of the brokenhearted. All of Zeta's belongings are buried with her, including bright pieces of cloth to be used for clothing she will never wear. The funeral procession is somber. In Mozambican tradition, there is no crying at funerals. Zeta's small coffin is lowered into the grave. Villagers fill the hole with earth. A few words are said about Zeta, about who she was and who she might have been, another bud that will never flower. It's four o'clock in the morning, the most dangerous time for malaria in Mozambique. That's because people get up early to farm, but the mosquitoes are still biting. I'm safe under this insecticide-treated net, and so is the Eduardo family, who I'm staying with tonight. They got nets last year from World Vision, and boy, have they made a difference. <laughs> Daughter Delfina lives the life Marita so desires. She has not one, but two best friends. She excels in school. Her family is happy and healthy. The reason? Mosquito nets. World Vision distributed and taught the villagers how to protect themselves from the deadly creatures. And the nets have worked. In Delfina's village, the number of cases of malaria have dropped dramatically. School attendance and grades are on the rise. Her father can now farm instead of taking his children to clinics in the hospital every time they have the disease. His net worth has increased by 50%, enough to build his family a new house with new beds draped by insecticide-treated mosquito nets, nets that will save their lives. It's morning and I have no bites. I made it to another day without getting bitten by a mosquito and what a day it will be. It's winter in Mozambique, the skies are blue, 
A breeze blows through the cashew trees. There's no school today. And that means the children will have more time to play. And play they will. They will sing and dance and jump rope into the evening, an evening free of fear of a tiny creature that is wreaking havoc over Mozambique and Africa and leaving girls like Marita, who don't have a mosquito net, without that which they treasure most, a best friend. <laughs>